Hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain. Okay, I've got here a piece of Vinco paper on a black tray which I've done a pour onto using our Sterling Wax White and some Pea Flower Orange. This is actually a background pour because I'm going to embellish it with some blossoms or some flowers. Um, here's a couple of examples and I've actually had a few people request um, a couple of videos so I'll do this really quickly. Okay so I've got my background there, I've got a few bubbles so I'm just going to hit it with a torch really quick just to pop some of those. I, it's really cold here so I did shake my bottles a bit. Um, boom can thicken when it's a little bit cold. Okay, I've still got a couple, but they'll end up dissipating. Okay, so with this technique, myself personally, I like to have a fair bit of negative space. There's probably, I would usually have a bit more than that, but that's okay. Um, and I like, you can see my paper is under here. <laughs> I should show you. So here is, this is an A4 sheet. So the reason I overlap is so that um, I get, I know my edges are definitely covered, okay? Because these are quite sharp, these edges. So this is a flexible plastic biodegradable paper. If I have a boo-boo on it, um, I can just wipe it off. It's not an issue at all. So I always overlap my edges. I'm just going to put a dot there because I've taken it away. Um, just so that I know I've got good coverage everywhere. Okay, so here's my background. You'll have to excuse my compressor in the background. So the colours I'm going to use um, is native violet purple. So I'm just going to pop down maybe one here. Um, I really like that part. So when you're doing it, you actually want to have a look around and see... Um, where you're going to position these. So that's probably the hardest bit, actually. Um, I might do just a small one here. Maybe another one over here. Slightly bigger. Okay. So, not difficult at all. I've popped down native violet purple. It probably looks black in the camera, but don't worry. It'll work its magic very soon. And we'll get it going. So this colour I'm adding now is actually Lily Pilly Pink. And I've mixed it with a bit of pearlescent pink just to lighten it up. It's very heavy. The pigments in the Lily Pilly. Okay. And I usually um, will add another darker colour, like a bit of black or something. But I'm going to move it around a bit first and we'll see. So this is a bottle I got off eBay. Um, I'm hoping to have them on our online store soon. Um, but in the meantime, you can get these off eBay. They come with different nozzle heads. So I've just put my boom in there. And I'm actually... It's just good because you actually get to have a... So I'm just going to... You get to have a nice um, thin line. Well, that didn't work. That looks revolting. So let's just bring that out a bit. I can fix that up as we go. Don't worry. Okay. All right. So we will fix that. It's not a big deal. It's easy sorted. So let's just get our flower happening first. All right. So we're going to start over here. Now you can use a straw. Um, I'm using a compressor so that I can keep it still and you can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to go out this way a bit first. Okay, and I actually usually do my two sides of the flower and then the center, but everybody's different. Okay, my PSI is set on about just under 30. 
and this is going to change quite dramatically as well as it pulls back it's going to um, you'll see what I mean as we go in a way and then I just go and just keep if I push gently on I haven't got it on full pressure at the moment if I, that was full pressure there if I just push gently from behind and the same with the straw so that initial blow is really quite forceful and hard and then you just gently blow out until you're happy with the shape of your flower okay just like that so you can see here all right so I'm fine with that and then I'll actually fix this up as we go now let's go over to the next one so here's this one I find you actually have better control with the straw to be honest so this makes me quite nervous all right so there's one and see how we're now getting the um, umber colour coming through because we've got a blending of the orange and the native violet, which I love. I know that's going to happen, so I choose these colours intentionally, knowing that I'm going to get those effects because I just think it's beautiful. And then my centre. pull this out a little bit more so I'm just going to go here I just want to give it a bit more height to match now see how I've got quite a bit of backing here background I can actually just blow some of that off there we go And what I'll probably do is get a straw and just gently blow that forward. I just want a gentle blow. Just want to move this out a little bit. <sighs> Swear. Damn. Okay. And I just got to make this a little bit bigger just to match. <laughs> because it won't go otherwise not in my head in a way there we go okay I'm happy with that now I think there we go now I am um, maybe a little bit more here okay I need a little bit more centre height everyone's got their own way of doing things and you'll figure out your way or what you like. Okay, this little one. Oh, I have to turn down my brush a bit. Uh, compressor. So this is on 30 psi, but actually it's behaving like it's a little bit higher. So I'm now wondering if I've set it right. I might have to check. some of that pressure so a straw you really do have much more control um, now here I'm just going to actually I'm going to add just a little bit more green so remember these are abstract flowers and then I'll just clean off my nozzle and I'll come back down this way add in a few more lines I want some green here. Uh, this is our parrotfish green. And this is going to change because this is fluid art, remember? So 
we're going to have um, a lot of change happening, some cells moving around, that kind of thing. So if okay, back again. Sorry, my phone ran out of memory. Of course it did. Okay, um, so that took me about a minute. Well, my phone was off for about a minute. So you can see here we've got some really nice effects starting to happen. I'll just give you a closer look. And there's our beautiful flowers. So this will end up hiding a lot more just during drying and that's because I've got such a heavy background. Um, I wouldn't usually have quite so much but I added a little bit extra just to um, be sure for the video. But usually I just add a little bit as I go. So there you go. Okay. Okay, we're back. Now, almost completely dry. And I am working indoors, um, it's now heading towards late evening, so the lighting isn't that great. Um, but I'm actually really quite happy with this, I'm just going to try and tilt it up so you can see. Okay, you kind of get the idea, sorry. All right, now the edges I'll show you. So here it's completely dry on this corner. So this is what happens. It just starts to level out and dry. So it stopped moving. This is the finished result. Um, I'm trying to get you a good view. I'm really sorry. But the um, I'll put up a dry image as the tag thing for the video. And for those of you who don't know, you can always pop onto the Facebook group Boom Gel Stain and I'll have a heap of pics on there. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.